Welcome back to our video series on statics. In particular, we're looking at equivalent systems right now. Um, as a quick review, we've looked at uh, vector addition, both in terms of forces, number one, and as far as torques, number two. And our third item was transmissibility, which basically says we're pushing is the same as pulling as long as we're going through the center of gravity or center of mass. And number four, we have force couples. This was taking a look at tire irons and screwdrivers. If we have two forces, that's the same as a torque. Now we're going to extend or expand a little bit on this force couple by looking at a simplified version of one of our other problems. Here we are in our porch swing. So in our porch swing, we took a look at the swing when it was, um, you know, when it was in use, it was at an angle, and it kind of gave us a little bit of a feel for how torques combine. However, let's say we modify the problem just a little bit. Instead, that swing is just sitting there, all right? Here you have everything, um, you know, the fascia on your roof, and your swing is just, it's just sitting there. And you're going to put a, you're going to put a, um, I don't know, you're going to put a little kid on there, you know, he just wants to sit and watch the sunset, nothing special going on there. Um, but, or at least from a mechanic side, but it's going to apply a force straight down. So you have this house and you have uh, eight feet. Well, let's keep the numbers out of it. All right. We have some sort of force and you're going to apply it. Now that we know what's going to happen there. We know that at the house, there's going to be, let's say at the house, we'll use a different color. The house is going to have an equal and opposite force up. And in addition, it's going to fight the torque here. You know, that this is going to apply a torque and the house will have a reaction to that, that torque. So we've, we've already seen this. We know that's what's going to happen. However, let me say, or let, let's explore a little bit. What's something else I could do to this system, to this roof, to cause the house to do the exact same thing? I want the house to have an equal and opposite force up, and I want it to have a reaction in this way. Well, another thing that I could do is, uh, let's, let's put this in parentheses because this isn't happening anymore. I could apply a force right here. I could apply a force against the house right here. Now, of course, that's not going to do anything to this, um, to this fascia, right? You're just pushing down on the house. But then let's say in addition, without applying any forces, I apply a torque, or at least not applying any forces I can measure. I apply a torque that is equal and opposite to this, to the reaction. All right, so I found two ways to make the same reaction at this house. One is I could put in a, uh, I could put in this force, force, or the other thing that I could do is I could put the force right through the center and I could apply a torque. Now we've already felt our way through this. Let's see how we can put that into a rule. This in fact will be rule five. And it looks like, let's, let's do, uh, let's do uh, this color. And it looks like this. If we apply a force, all right, here's the center of mass, here's our force. If we apply a force some distance from the center of mass, meaning we're, we're creating a torque, that is the same as creating a torque, remember that wasn't the only thing happening, plus applying that same force, force F, at the center of mass. So applying a force at a distance, we'll even call the distance R, at a distance R is the same as applying a torque and applying that force at the center of mass. We can call this uh, force acting at a distance. So we do, uh, force act at a distance. All right. Now, our next
concept is going to combine these. We're going to take a look at adding vectors, force couples, and force at a distance. We're going to come up with our sixth concept. Our sixth concept is imagine, well, forget imagining. Let's look at our barge. Remember this barge? What this means is that we can take this barge and we can uh, take all of our forces. Take a look at uh, equivalent system number one. If we add vectors, we can say it's the equivalent as the sum of those vectors. And in this case, that means that we can add all of the vectors, not just two. We're going to add all the vectors. And let's say we add all those vectors up, and it ends up being this vector right here. We'll call this uh, vector t for total. Um, it adds up and gets all these vectors. Well, that what that means is that's the same as simplifying all these vectors into one vector. Moreover, we can say that that one vector is going to induce a moment right here. So we've been able to combine all these forces and all these moments to one force which results in one moment. Now, technically, for those of you who are paying attention, if we draw a free body diagram, we really, what we're doing is we have one torque, which then is going to cause this thing to go, uh, it's going to cause this to rotate. Or another thing that we could do is we could say that's the same as, let's say, we'll, we'll write the barge um, as pushing down into the center of mass with this amount. And pushing this way into the center amount with this amount and applying a torque in this direction. We have all sorts of ways to play with it now. All that said, one thing that we didn't do to the barge that we could have is we could have had something that's just trying to twist the barge. Now these all induced a force because they were the force was being applied away from the center of mass but we also could have uh, twisted it. Let's write that into um, a rule. If we have, a lot of times you'll see a shape like this. That just means a blob, something that acts like a barge, something that moves in free space. And if that thing that moves in free space has forces acting all around it, and in addition, it also has torques. So not only are the forces inducing torques, there's other torques that are being involved. That is the same thing as taking, we're going to combine all the forces into one force. That's the same thing as the forces all being combined. We'll do force T for total, as well as all the torques being combined. Now in this case, this, these are not necessarily at right angles. So if we wanted to write that in uh, kind of like our rules, that would be um, equals, uh, let's keep that equivalent, equals one, uh, equals one total torque plus one force. This allows us to take very complicated systems and reduce them using what we know about vectors into one force and one torque. Our next video is going to look at the final rule that allows us to um, that allows us to manipulate these a little bit more effectively. On our next video, bring your thinking hat because it's going to be work, but uh, I look forward to seeing you then. In summary, we've covered six rules of uh, equivalent systems that involve combining vectors, 
both as uh, forces and as torques, transmissibility, force couples, we know how to apply a force acting at a distance, and large systems with multiple forces and multiple torques. Next, we'll cover wrenches. I look forward to seeing you.